So I wanted to talk about all the different reasons why you may have leg cramps at night. It's called nocturnal leg cramps, okay, or, or nocturnal cramps. All right, first one is low potassium, okay? Potassium is intimately involved in the contraction and relaxation of your muscles. So if there's not enough potassium, you're gonna have a tightening of that muscle. Low sodium, which is an electrolyte, can also cause cramping. Not as common, but it can. Magnesium, another common one. Potassium and magnesium deficiencies are probably the two top minerals that are involved with leg cramping because these minerals are needed to relax the muscle. It's not surprising why a lot of people are deficient in this mineral and this mineral simply because they don't consume enough leafy greens. They have a lot of sodium, but they have not enough of potassium foods or magnesium foods. And then we have calcium. If you're low in calcium, which by the way, are also in greens and dairy, um, but if you don't have enough calcium, that can also cause a cramp. Another reason is that your pH of your blood is slightly too excessively alkaline, okay? And there's a narrow band there, but if it goes too far to one side and too alkaline, what'll happen, these minerals can't be transported. So everything kind of locks up. If you're too alkaline, you can also have tetany or like twitching right here or on your arm because the muscles are not in their normal tone, okay? So if the pH is off, these minerals can't be transported into the muscle and you can have tetany, spasms, cramping, and all sorts of muscle and nerve problem. But I want to talk about another cause of leg cramps at night that go beyond some of these minerals. And it has to do with a vitamin, okay? Vitamin E deficiencies, okay? A vitamin E deficiency will cause restless legs. Now you can also be deficient in vitamin B1 and have restless legs as well, but vitamin E will do it too. Because vitamin E is involved in oxygen carrying capacity in the muscle, it's also involved in the storage of glycogen, which is the sugar in the muscle. Now, even if you're in a ketogenic diet, you're still using some of your glycogen reserve, okay? So especially at night, you're gonna use that up and then you're gonna burn more fat. But I also wanna include a couple of studies down below uh, in using vitamin E to get rid of nocturnal cramps, okay? Now, when you take vitamin E, number one, make sure it's not a synthetic version. Make sure you take a food concentrate, uh, a blend of several of the natural uh, parts to this complex, and make sure you take it in an empty stomach 15 minutes before you eat. It'll just be absorbed a lot better. All right, guys, there you have it. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?